hello everybody what's up today i am here with another video tutorial how to upload images by using node.js and mongodb images or any kind of file you like to upload but here we are not going to use malter or gridfs most of the tutorial on the youtube they have shown how to upload images by using malter and gridfs but in here we are going to save images as binary file to our database that is mongodb okay let's check it out what we are going to make we are going to make a simple movie application let's enter the movie name jumanji next level this is a kind of fantasy movie and by using file font we will have a we will have this field and when you open it we will have a nice preview you can see we can uh, close it or cancel it like this once again let's upload now you can see all the image all the movies i have saved and we will see that again how to view those images okay okay let's not waste time okay at the very first on your desktop let's create a folder as we always do the folder name will be file upload open visual studio code from here go to file add folder to all space open the folder wherever you created that we are going to use inbuilt visual studio code terminal press enter to make it default file upload okay entry point will be in index.js okay repository okay totally fine now we are going to create new folder that is index.js we have set the entry point index.js make sure it is the right one otherwise uh, otherwise a package node mon will not work for you okay if you haven't installed node mon just run this command npm install g for global install nodemon i have already installed it okay let's install few packages npm install ejs express ejs is our view engine express is our framework for on node.js we always install express body parser mongos body parsers to retrieve data from the form and mongos is for saving data or integrating with the mongodb database okay let's create a simple server app is equal express it will listen for port 5000 and we will have a callback function let's run the command node one so it will it will say server is running on port 5000 that's totally perfect now set up for mongos and ejs view engine just write app dot set make sure spelling is same ejs uh, set up for body parser app dot use body parser dot json we will retrieve all the data from form as a json format now let's make our basic route to go home page app dot get this will be get request comma request there will be three parameter response next is optional if in your case next is required then you can use it this dot send we want to send some data okay save it go to your favorite browser and just write localhost the port number port number was 5000 in our case 
now it's saying server is working perfectly now create a folder views because we have set our view engine as ejs it will already directed to the views folder okay let's let me show you just write index.ejs <coughs> excuse me instead of send just write render we want to render our ejs file that is index we don't need to give any ejs file extension because they already know we want to run this ejs file and because we set our views folder name as views then this directory already gone to the views now it's looking for index okay there is nothing let's make some html code save it go to the browser reload once again at first go to the uh, see the title bar is saying localhost 5000 when we reload it it will say file upload that pin our title is working and view engine is working perfectly now we are going to use a css library called semantic ui just search for semantic ui cdn in case you don't know how to use uh, semantic ui then you can definitely follow this tutorial there is no problem with it but if you want to learn about semantic ui then you ha i have some tutorial on semantic ui you can find that link from the description otherwise go to my channel and from there you can easily find semantic ui tutorials once you are here just click on this css file we are going to copy the semantic mean.css now go to semantic ui official website from here go to this menu inside menu we'll have a collection inside this collection we have menus we can see the different kinds of menus here uh, we are going to use this one this pointing okay okay now let's create a form for uploading images okay below this menu we'll have a form just write br for backline br3 now just write form dot ui form inside this form we'll have a class of dot ui dot fields dot two inside this two field we will have field dot field inside this first field we will have a class of level name and name name of movie okay below this label we will have input type of text name is name this attribute is very important by using this name we are going to retrieve data here okay here in index.js just copy this field and paste it below this one will be type different type of movies type we don't want this kind of input we want a drop down menu select type and we'll have few option option for drop down first one will be fantasy okay let's make this value with name of lowercase ui dot container and to content 
this form inside this container okay now below below these two fields we'll have one more field so for submit okay let's make it for image this input type is file not text okay so make remember last field is for our button and button type will be submit make sure it is submit otherwise this form will not not work for you okay once again reload the page you see the form is looking perfect now we are going to use a library of javascript that is file upon to handle our encoded images okay we are going to use cdn we can also do it npm but in here we are going to use cdn just copy this two link and paste it at the top below this title okay paste it here let's take all the css in on side here and bottom here we will have our script file okay now go below from the plugin you can see file encoded will have few more okay file encoded just copy this line we are going to use cdn so copy this line and paste it below above this file upon js okay and we'll need few more plugin image preview installation installation cdn css okay file upon css below this okay and we also need this preview image preview js file copy this paste it on your project and we need one more that is resize image resize installation using cdn copy this script make sure this script is above file upon js okay otherwise it will not work for you let's create one more script file for setting up our file upon just write document dot add event listener event is dom content when dom, dom content will loaded this function will work okay this is a callback function now all the setting for file upon js we are going to do inside this event otherwise it may not work for you now you can uh, you can see image resize here the manual installation from here how they register their plugin this is very simple file upon dot register plugin just copy this line and paste it here and we want to register few more file because we have included two more file upon image not encoded this should be encode okay that's totally fine set some option for file pond file pond dot set options this one will be a object style panel aspect ratio will be 
odd 50 by odd 0 0 next option is image target width image resize target width will be 100 and target height will be on 50 this one will be ACI GST height make sure this ace is uppercase okay okay let's pass this file upon to the document file upon dot pass document dot body forget to add a class name which we must add a class name in our form where we want to upload upload our files okay in here we should make a class with the name of file font save it go to the browser reload the page now see it is working perfectly it's showing browse drop and drag your files let's drop a files you can see it's showing a nice preview okay let's work with our routes go to index.js from here below this get route we'll have a post route post route this action will be add uh, app form action will be add and method will be post okay now it's time to work with our database so at the top just write we are going to you we are going to import mongos okay in file upload we are going to create a new folder models this one will be movie.js we are going to create a schema a schema spelling is wrong mongos dot schema okay const movie schema is equal uh, new new schema this one will be a object because we want to save we want to save this movie as our JSON, as a JSON file, so just write like this. First one will be name. Name type is string. We will accept string type data. String type data in our name. Required to. Required copy this and paste it below type string type string and this is also required required true means if you don't pass this type it will not work it will not save data to the database and next one will be image and this image type is buffer this is the class by using we are going to save as binary file of our image okay below here paste on more img type this image type is for example jpg png or gif anything like that now we are go we will have to export this module module dot exports is equal mongos dot model here we need to create our collection name collection name will be movie by default mongodb will add a s after this movie okay that means it will create a plural okay form of movie movie schema 
now let's check it out it is working or not just i have imported mongos here now let's connect to the database if you have installed mongodb on your local system you can follow this otherwise you will have to use mongodb atlas or mlab something like that or slash local host 27017 that is the post port number for for all mongodb local host and name of our database will be the okay, name of our database will be file underscore upload fine just create one more thing db is equal mongos dot connection connection db dot ons on cities error then it will it will have a callback function log pass a parameter error it will print the error if we have any error okay otherwise just copy this and paste it below this one will be on and open that means we have connected data successfully then it will say db is connected save it now it's showing db is connected as i told you earlier okay we will have to uh, retrieve data by using this name attribute just write let's destructure it const name we have name type we need to import this movie schema for that just write now the very next thing we are going to save our data just write const movie is equal carefully see this we have started this variable with lowercase don't make it uppercase this m okay just write new movie we are going to save our json data name type and this image will will save that later on okay okay let's console this log just write log movie save now reload the page name of the movie anything style fantasy action okay action or is our submit button here it is it's it's showing that we are getting this data okay name and type action okay now let's resize our image field in order to do that just change the class name in input field of file just add few more class name ui image small now go to index.js from here we are going to create new function that is save image it will save our image as binary file function save image it will take two parameter first one will be movie and second one will be encoded okay here by using this function actually what we are going to do is we are going to take the image or any file from the uh, from our form we made here we are taking that and we are converting it to the binary file by using json and buffer after converting binary we are going to return it first make a if statement 
image encoded if there is no image encoded then it will return return from here encode our image as json parse just write const image image is equal json dot parse image encoded create a variable that is const type c sql this will be an array array of different type of image image forward slash jpeg comma just copy this and paste it here also control v control v png this two is most standard image file and last one will be gif okay let's create one more if statement if image is not equal null and double and signed image mime types include the type of image we are going to accept type if we have image and image type is image type is inside this image mime types that mean png jpg or gif then we are going to save it to the database okay in here okay let's set the value for image from movie schema image is equal new buffer here we are going to make our binary file okay here will be image dot data and base 64 the type of data we want okay let's save the image type just write movie dot image type is equal image dot type okay save it let's use this function up here call the function we made okay save image first one will be movie and second on second parameter will be image let's make the, this asynchronous function asoc and below here let's make a try catch block try now we are going to save our schema okay const new movie is equal await that means all the way at very fast it will save the movie movie dot save once it is saved it will redirect redirect to our home page okay save it once again reload the page it's it's redirected success, successfully you see it's redirected to the home page okay now co open your command form just write cmd at the search bar from here just run this command i used to run cd program file change directory to program file mongodb because i have installed mongodb so it's showing mongodb server bin okay mongo now we are in mongodb shell we can run all the mongodb commands so just write show database you can see all the database we have made is here showing in the list that is the one we are using right now use file underscore upload it switch to the file upload 
let's see all the collection we have in this database we have only one collection that is movies just write db dot movies dot find dot pretty let's see is there any movie or not it has a movie okay go up there you can see movie id name and type is fantasy image you can see this is a binary data okay that's all now we need to show all the images in here at the very bottom okay in order to show the images in the views okay we need to create a virtual properties in our mongo schema okay in below here just write movie movie schema dot virtual this this actually doesn't store in mongodb database but it uses in uh, the document okay name it image is this is the image source we are going to use to show our images okay we are going to use regular function in here as a callback because because we are going to use this property okay this dot image is not equal null and this dot image type is not equal null then it will do something here i was wrong here at first we need to give this sign and this equal not equal that mean image is not null and image type also is not null then it will do something let's return use this sign and uh, this is not the single quotation mark this is little bit different you can see okay in here just write data colon dollar sign and second bracket here just write image uh, this dot image type and after all just write a semicolon char set is equal utf 8 8 then semicolon base 64 comma dollar sign curly braces this dot image dot to string it will once again convert to the image as a string here just write base 64 not with quotation mark just delete this quotation mark okay now in the index js go to the gate route from here let's find okay this will be a asynchronous function let's try catch okay console dot error it will print error movie is equal await movie dot find this way we are going to retrieve retrieve movie data from our database okay cut this render and paste it in below here but here we will pass a parameter of movie okay now go to index.ejs at the very top below this div below this div just give two more break line 
in here we will set our images at first to print dynamically we need to give this less than and greater than sign in in between them we need to give two percentage sign now we can write javascript in between here if let's make a if condition if there is any movie it will do something what we'll do we'll print the source of our movie let's see how to do that the closing bracket give this closing bracket we may have more than one images so we need to look through all of them so it will print all of them so for that just write less than and greater than sign in between them two percentage sign just write movie dot for for each here just m stand for movie copy this and paste it here because we want to close everything here we will have few elements to show our images just write ui this is the source this is the source we need to pass our virtual virtual data virtual property that was image source copy this name and paste it here but we need to paste by, by using template engine okay movie dot image source we need to give it m not movie uh, yeah we should give this a equal sign because this is directly coming from this route so we need to give an equal sign now here you can see it's showing two images because we save two image but we need to show that horizontally let's make it just write a container container tab inside this container copy this uh, sorry cut it and paste it here here is the problem i think i i need to take that out of this porridge okay uh, make sure you don't have a closing div we need to use closing div out of this for each loop save it reload the page you see it's showing you horizontally once again try saving them and show here okay that's all for this tutorial if you like this video please like comment and subscribe and let me know in the comment section